everyone, Cindy here, and I would like to make a confession. I struggle with not only on my laminated props, but also on my brand new artwork. Oh, the glare. I tried to convince myself that it wasn't that bad, but not anymore. So I thought it would be helpful to do a before and after video, after spraying some acrylic matte paint onto my props and in the plastic sheet that covers up my, my picture. For anyone considering taking action against the ever encroaching glare, wanting to see if it's worth the effort, this is for you. So here is what my props look like now. Kind of a glare. I use a 3M laminate sleeve for all of my all of my props. While I know tilting, I know all the tilting tricks to, to make the glare not catch the light from my lights, uh, which is why I haven't tried this sooner. But with my poster. I got really concerned that all of that time and effort that went into this was going to be lost because of all that horrible glare. So I really wanted, this is what really made me want to give this a try because I, I love this and I want to make sure that it, it's not lost because of all that glare. And the frame is relatively inexpensive so if worse comes to worse, I can just replace it. Or I could just toss the plastic cover and just have just the, the poster itself. So we'll see how it goes. So let's get spraying. Okay, so well ventilated place outside. Check. A glove, even though it's clear paint, check. Otter pops just in case to be able to keep my kids out of my hair while I do this, check. So I don't have a whole lot of time. So let's do this. Okay, so these feel, these feel pretty dry. So let's go take them back inside and see how it looks under my lighting in my <laughs> classroom. Okay, so here, what it looks like. But this one is the moment of truth. Oh, that's old. A lot better. Oh, yes. I'm liking that. Very much so. So what do you think? Was it worth the sunshine, the $4 can of spray paint, and the Otter Pops? I think it was. I'm very happy with how that turned out. You can figure out for yourself if it's worth doing this for all of your props. It dried actually very, very quickly. So, but I would give it a couple passes just to make sure because there are, because I didn't do as much on this and you can tell on the outlying areas where I didn't get it as good. So just be thorough if you do decide to do this. So that is, that is it. So if this helped you make the decision to take the plunge and try and spray your laminated props with some clear acrylic paint, then leave your decision in the comments or if it made you make sure you had a hard pass on that decision, let me know that too. And if you have any other comments or questions or any future video ideas you'd like to see me do, go ahead and post those in the comments as well. And if you liked this video, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content. That's it for me. This is Cindy signing off. May you win the battles against glare. May you find easy bribes for your tiny terrorists. And may you manage your daily chaos like a panda climbing into a hammock. Bye-bye.